Welcome to question 1 of the 2015 Mathematical Methods Exam 1. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So for part A we have the function y equals 5x plus 1 to the power of 7 and we're asked to find the derivative dy dx. So if we inspect this rule, we can see that it's a function, 5x plus 1 inside another function. So we're going to use the chain rule. Now to complete the chain rule, we need to work out what the outer function is, and that's u to the power of 7. And the inner function, therefore, is u equals 5x plus 1. So dy du is going to equal 7u to the power of 6 and du dx is going to equal 5. From the formula sheet, we know that the chain rule, which calculates dy dx, is equal to dy du times du dx. So therefore, dy dx for this question is going to equal dy du, which is 7u, but u is 5x plus 1 to the power of 6, times du dx, which is 5. So therefore, dy dx is going to equal 35 times 5x plus 1 to the power of 6. So that is the answer to part A of this question. So from the examiner's report, we can see that most students correctly applied the chain rule and 85% of students got full marks for that question. The most common errors that were made were based around arithmetic of students. For part b, we have the function f of x equals log e of x divided by x squared, and we're asked to find the derivative f dash of x for part 1. So we can see that this is a function divided by another function, so we need the quotient rule. And for the quotient rule, u is going to equal the function in the numerator, so it's going to be log e of x, and the denominator is going to be the function v, which in this case is x squared. Then we calculate du dx which is going to be 1 on x, and we can use our formula sheet to see that. And dv dx is going to equal 2x. So from the formula sheet, we can also see that the derivative d dx of a function u divided by v is equal to v times du dx minus u times dv dx, all divided by v squared. So therefore, the derivative f dash of x is going to equal v, which is x squared. So we're going to have x squared times du dx, which is 1 on x, minus u, which is log e of x, times dv dx, which is 2x. And all of that is going to be divided by v squared, which is x squared squared. Therefore, our f dash of x can be simplified to x squared times 1 on x is simply x. And then we get minus 2x log e of x. And then all of that is divided by x. And x squared squared is x to the power of 4 on the bottom line. So that is the answer to part 1 of part b. Part two is just to substitute x equals one into the derivative we just found. So therefore, f dashed of one is simply equal to one minus, and two lots of one is just one, and then we have log e of one. So that's the top line, and then that's going to be divided by one to the power of four. And now log e of one is simply zero. So on the top line we get 1 subtract 0 divided by 1 to the power of 4 is 1. So overall the answer to this question is simply 1. So from the examiner's report we can see that 72% of students got part 1 correct and the majority of students used the quotient rule for this question. Although other methods could have been used, it was considered the most direct method. Many students experienced difficulty in simplifying their derived expressions to the point where some final answers involve fractions within a fraction. For the second part of B, we can see that 68% of students got that correct and that that question was well handled overall. Some students who correctly identified the required derivative in part B1 could not evaluate 2 log e of 1 as just being 2 times 0 is 0. 
So that's a timely reminder that you need to know your log properties and laws.